Hey guys, Victoria here from Bumblebeans. I have been meaning to do a post. I've just been so busy since I got home and still trying to unpack from the big trip to Minnesota and Wisconsin and Chicago and all these great places. This is what's up. Starting on Monday, there's going to be a blog hop going up about um, something that I'm hosting along with my New York City Metro Mod Quilters. We are hosting a double wedding ring challenge. Yay! Yeah, get you outside of your box. Try something new. And you know what's really cool about this challenge? One of the categories is just one ring. Isn't that approachable? We can all do that, right? One ring. Try it. Learn your curves. Interpret it however you want. So that's one of the categories within this double wedding ring challenge. So if you've made a double wedding ring, you can also submit for a traditional category and also for a modern category. Now what about the modern category? Anything goes. That's what's so awesome about it. If you want to fuse it, you don't have to piece it. However you want to interpret it. As long as you have three layers in your quilt, you are good to go. Okay? So you can see I'm already playing around with some other little projects. A pickle dish is also part of the Double Wedding Ring family. Um, we are also being hosted by Easy Quilting and Juki and Interweave. So I thought I'd show you because I got some new sewing machines. I am still always in one and only a Juki girl. I love my Juki. Here's my, here's my favorite sewing machine ever. It's super, super fast. Here you can see, see, I'm always like a bunny rabbit, never like a turtle. This is the TL2010Q uh, Juki sewing machine, which I'm very happy to say Juki is giving as a grand prize in this, co in this contest. So that's really awesome. And Interweave will be putting the quilts in the magazine. Um, I think the quilts also go to uh, Spring Market. They'll be on display. And I want you to hop over to the New York City Metro Mod Quilters.com website. All the information is listed there under Double Wedding Ring Challenge. And give it a shot. You have from July 1st, which was already passed. Hopefully you had a good 4th. Happy 4th. Um, and you can submit your photos uh, through that page. There's a link for each of the categories. Um, like I said, there's one category that's just for one ring, which is easy, and the other categories are for four rings or more. So that's for traditional and for modern, and you have until December 1st to make your project and upload the image. Um, all the information's over at the site, so I want you to pop over there and see it. And also keep an eye out for the blog hop that's going to start this coming Monday and see all the inspiration that's going to be going on. Maybe a few of the people might start making theirs and show a little bit as they go. Um, spread the word. Talk to your guilds. Um, talk to your quilt shops. Maybe they can do a double wedding ring class. Um, I've used uh, the Easy Quilting Double Wedding Ring uh, template on my little project back here on the wall. This one. Boink. This one. Yeah. But you do not have to use an Easy Quilting template. Of course, it's one of our sponsors. We're more than happy if you do, but you can use any double wedding ring pattern templates, whichever you want to use. And um, play. Go play. Have fun. All right? I'm going to shoot up to Maine today uh, to see my girl at camp. I miss my girl. And we'll be back on Monday. So quick post. Shout out to y'all. Hope you're having a great summer. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.